Guard is going to be intervention capable in the province of Ontario. They need to be trained to that level. And currently there's no standard for that training here in Ontario for use of force, use of handcuffs, uh, batons, etc. in Ontario. Those things don't exist. Uh, so the companies are sort of left to their own devices when it comes to that. And as I was speaking about today, how do they know when they're going to... Uh, uh, that they're getting the best training, how do they know, uh, you know how often or how frequently they should uh, be getting this kind of training, of course it's going to cut into the bottom line, it's going to cut into things like uh, wages, uh, their ability to compete against other companies and that sort of stuff, so there's, there's always these gaps, I think we're always going to have these gaps and as much as even the government tries to fill some of those gaps with mandatory training, we're still going to have identifiable gaps within, uh, within training for sure. Given the fact that we've got nearly a 50% turnover most of the time, as far as frontline guards, there's no secrets of that, um, training becomes a huge issue and a huge expense. Uh, trying to keep them current on what's right, what's wrong, what's reasonable, what's not, and try and stay on budget is a difficult thing. Um, we've learned some lessons from the past, uh, unfortunately. Um, I think a lot of those lessons, it's like I was the farm analogy that I used today, you know, the, for, the, the farm fence doesn't get fixed until after the horses run away, unfortunately, and it usually takes a large court case, civil cases usually, or even a criminal case, uh, but today, more so than ever before, um, people become YouTube stars when they really don't want to be, and, and that's how the, the public uh, perceives the guard company, the guards, uh, and they talk about the property and, and quite often and honestly it's not the property, sometimes it's the people that are there. Sometimes it's lack of oversight from the property or from the people who's uh, managing the guards, etc. So there's, a, there's been a lot of changes, we're still learning. I think and as we go into this internet age there's going to be a lot more. For sure there will be. Events like this are I think paramount, necessary uh, it, it, for a peer-to-peer uh, sharing of information even if it's among competitors and it's not until you have an event like this that they start to realize they've got some gaps and then they go to their peers because they're here and not back in their own headquarters going okay I need to get some information about this and this and this and they get it in a place like this which is which is a wonderful thing because these are the decision makers or the influencers of the decision makers so they'll go back with that information and uh, and do something with it hopefully